everybody, this is Nisel and welcome to Soul and Garden. Today we will be repotting, propagating, or transplanting my Aeron Caladium. Because like most of you, I too would like to have uh, more of my Caladiums. And this one, I only have one pot of this one. And I bought this for 75 pesos. Actually, the price was 100 but i was able to get a discount of 25 percent so i paid this for 75 pesos so when i bought this one it was not as big as this and only maybe there were only three three plants and now i'm going to repot this because it's getting bigger and see the root the root the roots are all also starting to come out so we will repot this and so that we will have more caladiums. So here are the things that we should have in repotting our caladium fast. Here we need this coconut husk. Coconut husk uh, help retain moisture in soil. So it's um, it's very good. No, I mean what I'm saying. I mean, it's very helpful if you will put some um, coconut husk uh, on the bottom of the pot for easy drainage and also to retain moisture. But if you don't have coconut husk, uh, you can also use gravel or um, pebbles or pebble clay. Um, did I say it right? Gravel. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so we need these, our pots, and our soil mix. My soil mix is um, composed of uh, garden soil and compost. So we will now start. Let's check if this caladium has many tubers because if this have many tubers, we can get more from this. And it's still good, so we can still use this. So here are the roots. So let's try to break this and see what we get. <coughs> oh. This one, another um, shoot is about to, I mean another baby is about to grow. So we cannot cut this tuber. This, let's check if this has an eye. Good, very good. Okay. See this, this one. Um, where is it? Okay. Um, I think I need to 
have okay, a toothpick. Where is it? Okay, so see this. This is the eye of it's blurred. It's a bit blurred. Okay. I think you can see this now. Okay. This is the eye. <coughs> this is the eye of the tuber. This means that new shoots will grow from here. So we can um, we can cut this so that we can get two plants from this one. We'll cut this later. These two, we can also cut this uh, because this is a bigger tuber and see mini eyes. We have the mini eyes, so we, can, we will cut this in half. And also, if you will repot your caladiums use um, gloves because caladiums can be toxic or it may irritate your skin so this one yeah we can also cut this into this now and here let me check. Let me check this one. Hmm, I think we can only cut. Oh, did I? Can we cut this here? Oh, my. See? <laughs> it break. It break. But we will not worry because caladiums will still go even if um it breaks as long as there is um small root here it will still grow so we will now cut the skeletons and see how many plants we have so now we will cut here just careful not to have uh, direct contact on the skin because this is toxic this I guess this still will go two three this look at this So this, there's the eye. Okay, we'll, try. we'll not touch this because there is a baby plant. Okay, so from that, this one. Yeah, there is the eye, but this is too little, so we, we won't be cutting this one. So from one plant, I have how many? 
one, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight new plants and uh, four, four tubers. Don't worry. Even if these don't have um, small plants, all of this will grow. I assure you because if you have followed my videos, I have made, I mean I have published a video before showing how I transplant, how I transplanted my caladiums and because they grew um, on the soil and I need to transfer them in pots to save them from the heat of the sun and there were also some tubers that were cut uh, when I dug up the tubers and I just tuck the tubers in the soil and here is what I got yes this came from a tuber this is a growth from the tuber which I tucked in here so um, tubers will grow if you just uh, put them in the right soil okay let's now Start planting them. So, here. This is where we put our coconut husk. This is enough, enough for good drainage and also to retain moisture. See, and we will put some soil. have cleaned this no I think I have to because this is uh, giving me a hard time okay clean this up just have to put this here at the side mm, I think we can reuse some of the soil here put them there anyway the plants are looking good so it means the soil is still good So here are my plants, my newly planted plants. These we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah. 8, 1, 2, 
eight plants eight plants from one plant and for these tubers these root tubers we will put them here tuck them here okay like that these four tuck them inside there where's the eye We'll make sure that the eye is upwards. See, also this one. Okay, we'll tuck in there and then we'll add some soil. Just not too deep. Okay, so that's it. We have from one mother plant, we have eight more plants and four root tubers. So a total of 12, 12 new plants. So that's all for today. It's so noisy out here. My neighbors are so noisy because they're constructing a building. Okay, that's all for today. And I hope that um, I have shared with you the knowledge and insights and more ideas on how to get more caladiums from your plant. If you're not a subscriber yet, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to get updates for more gardening tips here in um, Seoul and Garden. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!